The culture of Kenya consists of multiple trends. Kenya has no single prominent culture that identifies it. It instead consists of various cultures practiced by the country's different communities. Cuisine There is no singular dish that represents all of Kenya. Different communities have their own native foods. Staples are maize and other cereals depending on the region, including millet and sorghum eaten with various meats and vegetables. The foods that are universally eaten in Kenya are Ugali, Sakuma Wiki, and Nyama Choma. Kenya's coastal cuisine is unique and highly regarded throughout the country. Sakuma Wiki, a Swahili phrase which literally means to push the weak, is a simple dish made with greens similar to kale or collards that can also be made with cassava leaves, sweet potato leaves, or pumpkin leaves. Its Swahili name comes from the fact that it is typically eaten to get through the weak or stretch the weak. Nyama choma is grilled meat, usually goat or sheep. It is grilled over an open fire. It is usually eaten with ugali and kachumbari, maharagwe, bean stew, and makicha, shredded spinach. Among the luya residing in the western region of the country, ingoko, chicken, and ugali is a favorite meal. Other than these, they also eat sasaka, maru, managu and other dishes. In the Rift Valley, the Kalenjin have long made mersik, which they have with kimayat, ugali, and a vegetable relish called isagik. Also among the Kikuyu of central Kenya, a lot of tubers, including ngwaci, sweet potatoes, duma, taro root, known in Kenya as arrowroot, ikwa, yams, and nianga, cassava, are eaten, as well as legumes like beans and a kikuyu bean known as njahi. Among the luo residing on the western region around Lake Victoria, kuan, ugali, and rek, fish is a favorite, as well as gweno, chicken, aliyah. Sun-dried meat. Anyoso. Type of ant. Nguen. Termitoide. Didi. Grasshoppers, various birds and green vegetables. Alode. Such as. Asuga. Akeo. Muto. Dodo. Dick. Apath. And. Bo. All consumed with ugali. As you travel around the country distinct differences are noted mainly based on what foods are locally available around such areas. Grains are a staple food for groups that grow grains e.g. Kikuyu, Embu, Meru, Kisi, etc. Other communities such as the Luo and the coastal community have fish and seafood for their staple food as available in such areas. In semi-arid areas like Turkana, foods made from sorghum are more common staple foods. As you move towards the city, food eaten by working families vary according to preference and ethnicity. Rice and stew is more common with working families, and other dishes like chapati, parantha, chicken stew, etc. National dress Apart from its national flag, Kenya does not have national dress that transcends its diverse ethnic divisions. With more than 42 ethnic communities having their own traditional practices and symbols unique to them, this is a task that has proved elusive. However, several attempts have been made to design an outfit that can be worn as a national dress, much like the kente cloth of Ghana. Kitenge is a cotton fabric made into colors and designed through tie and dye and heavy embroidery. It is commonly worn by a number of Kenya's populations. Though also worn in many other African countries, kitenge is yet to be accepted in Kenya as an official dress as it is only worn during ceremonies and non-official functions. The Maasai wear dark red garments to symbolize their love for the earth and their dependence on it. It also stands for courage and blood that is given to them by nature. The kanga, kanga, leso, is another cloth that is in common use in practically every Kenyan home. The kanga is a piece of clothing about 1.5 meters 4 feet 11 in by 1 meter 3 feet 3 in, screen printed with beautiful sayings in Swahili or English and is largely worn by women around the waist and torso. Music Kenya is home to a diverse range of music styles, ranging from imported popular music, Afrofusion and Benga music to traditional folk songs. The guitar is the most popular instrument in Kenyan music, and songs often feature intricate guitar rhythms. The most famous guitarist of the early 20th century was Boney Makey. 
Other notable musicians of the 60s era include Fadhili Williams, recognized by many as the author of the hit song, Grace Phillips, that was later redone by Miriam Makeba, Boney M. and Dowdy Kavaka. Popular music in the 1980s and 1990s in Kenya could be divided into two genres, the Swahili sound and the Congolese sound. There are varying regional styles, and some performers create tourist-oriented hotel pop that is similar to Western music. The Mushrooms, later renamed Uyoga, was one of the popular groups in this era. In the recent past, newer varieties of modern popular music have arisen which are mostly local derivatives of Western hip-hop. Two subgenres have emerged, Genj and Kapuka beats. This has revolutionized popular Kenyan music and created an industry dominated by the youth. There is also underground Kenyan hip-hop that gets less radio play than Kapuka or Genj because it is less club-oriented and more focused on social commentary. Early pioneers include Poxy Presha, Kalamashaka, and K South. In Nairobi, hip-hop is viewed as more of a style than as a musical culture. There is a great correlation between the youth who listen to rap music and their economical status in the country with the majority of them coming from wealthy economic backgrounds. Since hip-hop is portrayed through clothing, magazines, and CDs, all of which are expensive, only the wealthier individuals are able to enjoy these luxuries. Mainstream artists include Nameless, Redson, Necessary Noise, Nonini, Wakali, Kleptomaniacs, Longombas, Suzena Owayo, Achenga Bura, Eric Wainena and others. Their sounds run the gamut from reggae, raga, pop, afro-fusion to hip-hop. Contemporary Kenyan music is becoming quite popular, with African-based music channels such as Channel O and MTV Bass, giving them a greater audience, a hybrid of Kenyan languages and English, Swahili. The Kisima Music Awards, which recognize musical talent across East Africa, were founded and are currently based in Kenya. Every year numerous Kenyan artists take out categories in the scheme. The African Children's Choir features children, many of whom are orphaned, from Kenya, as well as from other neighboring African countries. Literature Media Film The government has not been very supportive of the film industry in Kenya. Few locally made films have consequently been released. However, a number of foreign productions have been shot in the country. The most recent such movie is the award-winning The Constant Gardener directed by Fernando Mireles and starring Rafe Fiennes and Rachel Weiss. Other films shot in Kenya in the recent past include the Academy Award-winning Nowhere in Africa and Lara Croft Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle won great acclaim in the 1980s and was one of the first foreign movies to be shot entirely on location in Kenya. Other highly acclaimed films set and shot in Kenya include Karen Blixen's Out of Africa, starring Robert Redford and Meryl Streep and directed by Sidney Pollack, and Born Free, an adaptation of the autobiography of Joy Adamson. In 1999, part of the movie To Walk with Lions, which featured actor Richard Harris, was shot on location in the country. Notable film actors from Kenya include Paul Ansongo, David Mulwa, Sidid Anyulo, John Sibi Okumu and N. Jerry Asak. Die Wei Maasai, The White Maasai, a German movie about a Swiss woman who fell in love with a Samburu Maasai warrior, won an award as the best foreign language movie 2006, though it was received very poorly in Kenya itself. Rise and Fall of Idi Amin, based on the Ugandan dictator, was shot in Kenya and is considered one of the most successful movies produced and directed by a Kenyan, Sharad Patel. Indigenous Kenyan filmmakers include Ingolo Wa Kia, Albert Wandigo and Judy Kibanja. Nowhere in Africa, near Genwo in Africa 2001, an award-winning German production, tells a story about German Jewish refugees living in Kenya during Second World War. Most of the movie is set in Kenya and numerous scenes show actors, either Kenyans or main German actors, speaking Swahili. Some of the latest notable productions include the footage screened to the music of U2, Robbie Williams, R.E.M. and other acts at the Live 8 concerts in Europe and the U.S. in July 2005, Africa Mon Amor, shot over a period of three months in Samburu, Shaba and Lamu with a renowned German actress, Iris Bourbon, in 2006.
The Kenya Film Commission KFC, was established by the Kenyan government in 2005, but only became fully operational in mid-2006. Television Acting for television has proved popular with the Kenyan audience. This genre has been around from the 1960s when actors like Mazi Pembe graced the Kenyan television screen. Others, like Benson Wanju, Ojawang Patari, and Mary Kavere, Mama Kei, followed later with their comedies presented exclusively in Swahili, reaching millions of households courtesy of Kenya Broadcasting Corporation television station. Serious television drama was witnessed for the first time in the early 1990s with the entry of popular actors like Paxson Ngugi, BMJ Mariethi alias Ben Mutua Jonathan Mariethi and Betty Cheng, alongside other thespians who featured in a variety of TV shows following the liberalization of the airwaves by the Kenyan government. Tushorian, a Swahili television series featuring Kenyan fine actors like Dennis Kashiro and Tony M. Salami had premiered in the late 1980s becoming arguably one of the most popular productions to ever hit the Kenyan TV screens. A new genre in the form of stand-up comedy followed when actor Joni and Deritu entered the scene. The new style was later to be perfected by the group. Red Iculas. A trio of young Kenyans, Walter Monger, Tony Naguna and John Kiare KJ, who specialized in political satire. They lampooned not only the establishment but also Daniel Arap Moi, the Kenyan president at the time. The lampooning of the Kenyan head of state was unprecedented and could have easily led to their prosecution, or even detention without trial, had it been done in the 1980s, when mimicking the head of state and exhibiting any form of political dissent was considered treason. Other stations known to promote theater in Kenya include Nation TV, Kenya Television Network, KTN, a Citizen TV, all based in the nation's capital, Nairobi. K24, the newest TV station to enter the scene, started its test run in Nairobi in December 2007. It captured the interest of many mainly because of the introduction of Jeff Coinange, one of the most popular Kenyan journalists who has worked for major international media houses like CNN, as its chief news anchor. A satellite and internet-based 24-hour Pan-African TV channel, A24, was scheduled to start broadcasting from Nairobi in 2008. This will be in honor and memory of world-renowned and award-winning Kenyan photojournalist, Muhammad Amin. Theater Kenya holds an annual drama event, the Kenya Schools and Colleges Drama Festival which brings together thespians and students from around the country. The Kenya National Theatre is based in Nairobi opposite the Norfolk Hotel. Notable theatre performing groups include Aliyah Abuto's Festival of Creative Arts that stages regular stage performances at both the Kenya National Theatre and Alliance Francaise, Phoenix Players based at the Professional Centre, Heartstrings Ensemble and Mombasa Little Theatre Club based in Mombasa. Notable names on the Kenyan theater scene include actresses Stella Awinjamuka and Anne Wanagu, both deceased, Liz N. Jaga and Idi Cheng. Single quote dot. Thespians like Steve Mwenezi, Paul Ansongo, N. Jerry Osak, Ben Mutua Jonathan Mariethi, popularly known as BMJ Mariethi, Gilbert Lacalia, Joseph Marungu, and Paxson Ngugi are just but a few of notable TV, stage, and film actors from the country. Renowned director Tiruz Gad cut a niche for himself and is perhaps the most well-known theater directors in Kenya today. In the late 1990s through the early 2000s, Wihome Mutahi followed in the footsteps of the legendary Ngugi Wa Theong. Oh when he, through Igiza Productions, teamed up with Tiruz Gad and embarked on a project dubbed, Taking Theater to the People which saw them stage numerous productions, mainly political satires, at nightspots throughout the country. Other notable directors include Festival of Creative Arts's Carol Odongo and Mbeki Mawalimu, as well as Mumbi Kegwa who are some of the most popular female directors in Kenya. George Mingai of Phoenix, Keith Pearson, Sammy Mwangi, John Sibi Okumu and Victor Ber are well-known directors too. Video Gaming Video gaming is a young and rapidly growing sector in Kenya. Though various startup companies have appeared in the country since 2007, the existing businesses are dealing with funding issues and few successes have been made. 
However, shared spaces, support programs and government grants introduced over the past few years have allowed the industry to grow large in a short period of time. The introduction of broadband internet in 2009 spawned a generation of young ICT-savvy people in the country and the Kenyan game industry is as of 2015 among the largest in Africa. A new milestone was achieved in June 17, 2015, when the game Nairobi X was launched. It is the first Kenyan-made 3D action game made for Android. Nairobi X is a first-person shooter game set in a 2030 Nairobi city. The city is under attack from aliens and the mission is simple, defend Kenya. In 2016, the industry has grown rapidly and continues with popular video game entertainment companies such as Gaming for Kenya, NAICCON and NextGen Gaming handling major events in the country as well as promoting the gaming culture. Gaming for Kenya, otherwise known as G4K, have held several gaming events from LAN parties to esports competitive events since they began. Others include video game retailers such as Vivid Gold, Gamechanger, and Gametronic that have dominated in terms of supplying gamers with console based games for PlayStation and Xbox. Also prevalent are gaming lounges where gamers sit down to enjoy, which are several in number. The largest and most advanced gaming lounge being Trick Gaming Lounge followed by Game Masters, The Score Gaming Lounge and many more. So far sponsorships have been growing with interest in the industry with the likes of Asus and Red Bull having their presence at most of the gaming events. In terms of events, there are several informal tournaments that are held within Nairobi City and some major towns in the country. The most renowned event being the 1UP Elite Land Parties held by G4K. A large number of gamers attend their events to connect with other gamers in a social ambiance and play with each other. In esports, there are roughly established bodies governing esports events with the likes of the Kenya International Gaming Series dubbed as K, in, G, S, the Vivid Gold Summer Tournaments, Cage and many more. A new culture has also been adopted whereby some gamers in Kenya have also started their own YouTube and Twitch channels. Regionally, they are the most known gaming YouTubers, they use this platform to connect with their audience and build a strong following. They usually go by their gaming nicknames or otherwise known as Gamertag, Jazzy Neon, Gatman, King Stevanos, Davy Kamanzi, The Watchman, The Golden General, Hastimode, Ix, and many others. They have a progressively growing audience. See also List of African Cuisines List of Ethnic Groups of Kenya Literature of Kenya Music of Kenya Sport in Kenya References Sources Magikakenya.com Further reading Odiambo, Christopher Joseph, 2008. Theater for Development in Kenya, in Search of an Effective Procedure and Methodology. Pia Thielman and Eckhard Breitinger. ISBN 978-3-939661-07-8.